In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can open or show the model on the page load in, in uh, Bootstrap 5. Okay, so I have an example project here and currently I can open the model by clicking on a button. But now we want to see how we can do that when we first load the page. How do we open that model? So here in the HTML, you can ignore everything else. I just have this model. It's very similar to the example that they have in the documentation. And uh, it's using the Bootstrap 5 data attributes, right? So it has BS. Make sure you have that as well. And yeah, so it's, it's just a Bootstrap 5 pretty typical modal component. Okay, so now we, we want to open this up when we load the page. So we do need to write a little bit of JavaScript here. So I'm linking to my own JavaScript file here in the head, actually. We're using the dever attribute, right? So it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals when you work with Bootstrap. Those are both CSS as well as JavaScript. I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you want to take those skills to an advanced professional level. Check the links in the description. Okay, so there are basically two ways to do this. So option one, first, we need to get a reference to that modal, right? So I will call that mod my modal, my modal. And you have to use new, this is going to look a little bit strange, but bootstrap, um, the JavaScript portion of bootstrap will give you this uh, this variable to use. It's going to be new boot or this class, this new bootstrap.modal. And then in here, you have to use the ID of the modal. So for me, that's, let's see, that's booking modal. You have to use the hashtag here, booking modal. So this will basically instantiate a uh, modal uh, object here. And then we can use that. We can say my modal dot show. Right? This is one of the methods that we can use for the modal. Now we don't want to do this um, right here at the top of the, the script. We do want to check for whether the DOM has the DOM content has loaded. So typically what you want to do is you want to attach an event listener to the window. You want to listen for that DOM content loaded event. And when that event occurs, you want to fire a function. I'm using the mo modern arrow function syntax here, right? So again, make sure you have mastered JavaScript. And then um, once that event has fired, we're, we're firing this function here, which we'll uh, call the show method, right? So let's see if that works. So now I'm gonna refresh here. And you can see the modal opens up right when I refresh the page, right? I can still close it. I can refresh to prove it to you. Right. Okay. Another option is basically, uh, it's almost the same with just a different way of getting a reference to the modal. So instead of new bootstrap.modal, I'm going to use, let's see, bootstrap.modal and then it's dot get or create instance. So if uh, it's going to try to get this instance. And if you have not uh, created an instance before in your code, it will create it. So here it's actually going to create it. And um, the reference will be put in here and it will be shown here, right? So when I refresh now, um, interesting, actually doesn't work. Let's see if I made a mistake here. Yeah, so here the mistake is that, that I'm using the new keyword, right? That's not necessary here. So now I'm going to save. I'm going to remove the new keyword. I'm going to load the page. You can see it still works, right? So this is option two. And by the way, make sure that um, you are linking to the Bootstrap uh, JavaScript before your own script, right? Because in our own script here, we are using um, Bootstrap here, right? So this this is a variable, right? This is this is going to be created for us by this other script, right? So this script has to run before we run our own script, right? So if you're linking to this in the head and if you're using defer on both scripts, it will work because defer respects the order. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.